So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be installing QBitTurrent, which is a turrent program that several people have asked for. And it's super easy to install and super easy to use, so we'll do that right now. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and give us a like, and here we go now. And a special thanks to all my patrons who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. Thank you. And if you haven't already, please check out my Patreon page. Okay, so we had a request to install QBitTurrent, so here's what we need to do. So first we need to go to our Open Media Vault. We need to go to Docker. Go over to the right hand box. Type QBitTurrent. Click on the Linux server QBitTurrent. Click Start. Uh, and then also click Information to bring up the box. And so if we scroll down, here is basically the information that we need. Once that's done, click Close. Next, click on QBitTurrent. Click Run Image. And our container name is QBitTurrent. Restart policy is always. We're going to leave it in bridge mode. We're going to put 6881. Hit the plus sign. And then UDP 6881. Hit the plus sign. And then 8080. And this will be our web UI. Now we're going to scroll down and we're going to put in our PUID. And if you don't know what that is, what you can do is go to PuTTY and type in your IP address. Hit open. And yes. Log in as root. And then put in your password. Next, type in ID and then your username. And so mine is user1. And here you can see my UID is 1000 and my GID is 100. Write those down. We're going to close that. We're going to type in PUID. And that was 1000 for me. And PGID, which for me was 100. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to put in our time zone. For me, that's America, New York. Hit the plus sign. We're going to put in slash and click on config. And next we're going to go to our shared folders, click on app data, and create a new folder called QTurrent. Once we've done that, click close. Then we're going to go back to host path, shared folders, app data, and then QTurrent, and then click OK. Hit the plus sign. Next hit slash again and downloads. We're going to go to our shared folders and then go to our downloads folder and click OK and hit the plus sign. And then we're going to hit save. And so now our Linux server QBitTurrent folder, our uh, Docker is up. And so if you remember, our, our GUI for that was 8080. So we're going to copy our IP address. Paste that in a new window. Then we're going to hit backslash colon 8080 and then hit enter. And that takes us to the QBitTurn web UI. And so the password is admin, or the username is admin, and the password is admin admin. And then hit login. And so now we're in the QBitTurn's web UI. Next, we're going to hit plus, and so this is how you would download a turrent. So then we're going to go to Ubuntu. We're going to copy the link for the server edition. We're going to paste that here in turrets, and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to click download. And now you can see it is downloading the Ubuntu server AMD64 ISO. 
And that's it for today. That's how you install QTurrent and actually add a turrent. Hope you found that helpful, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.